Given the following expression, 6x plus 4 times the difference of 5 and x plus 8, find two expressions that are equivalent to the given expression. One of your expressions should contain only two terms. So first we would have to write this expression down here so it would be easier to figure out. So as you can see we can't do that because that's a variable and you can't subtract 5 and a variable because you don't know the number for the variable. So you would have to give out the 4 to both of the numbers and that would be called, the 4 is called a distributive property because you're giving it out to the other numbers. So you would have to times the these two, and then you have to times these two, but you can't times that. So if you do 4 times 5, it will give you 20. Then if you do 4 times x, you, you don't know the number for x, so that would just be 4x. And then you don't add the parentheses because you can't, you can't, you can't, um, you can't, subtract 20 with 4x because there's, there's a variable and it doesn't like they're not like they're not like terms so you don't do those two you would have to find the like terms or the like terms and you would have to multiply those together. Oh, stop. Duh. Add those. Right, we have to add oh. them together. Are you getting frustrated? So, so, these two are like terms. You would have to add the, the, the operation sign next to it. So that, that operation sign will tell you to add or subtract. So you would have to subtract these, which will give you 2x. And then you have to add the 20, which all you have to do is just bring down the whole problem. And then plus 8. Nope, keep going. Um, so hmm. then you would have to... You would have to, since these are like terms, you would box these two together. And then you would have to add these, which would give you 28. And then you would just have to add 20, 28 with 2x. And can we add those together? Um, yeah. Why? Because I'm they're not like terms. That's what you have to keep emphasizing. They're not like terms. They're not like terms, so you can't... See, this one has a variable, and this one's just a number. Right? What do we call that number if it's just without a variable? Um, it's a constant. A constant. doesn't change. Okay? So we're going to stop you. When you get done with all of this, though, you probably should circle the final answer, right? Or the two final answers.